What's going on you beautiful people? Welcome to another video and welcome to Hallstatt, Austria. Look at this place, how beautiful it is. So we're gonna go to town, but first we need to cross the water with that boat over there. And I can't wait to show you guys this place from the top, but also this place has a very interesting story around graveyards. And as you know, it's a very small place. You can see it's tiny. So they had a problem um, with their dead people and then how they buried them. So something had, had, had to be done. And let me show you. Hello, one person. Return or Bombay? Uh, I would need to return, so yes. Okay, do, six euro, do, please. Let's do the return. There you go. Thank you. And for our back. Yep, thank you. I so feel like such a minority right now. But what can you do, right? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's gonna definitely look much better on the drone. On the move. I know why all the Asian tourists love this place, because it's total opposite to Asia. Quiet, clean, nice, good weather, clean air, not many people. It's pretty much all the things you don't have in Asia, right? Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I knew it. I cracked the code. So this place actually gets, I think, over two, 800,000, wait, so 2,000? That'd be 2,000. 2,000 people a day. Around 2,000 people a day. I'll correct that out if that's wrong, but I think it's about almost a million people a year. And the population is very small. Like 800, 800 people. How often do you go back and forth? Every half hour. Thank you. Cool, thank you. Yo, so every half an hour, you don't have to worry about it, basically, right there. Boom, 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 let's go. Because the place is quite small, they had this issue around burying their people. So when they had new people dying, they didn't have a place to bury them. So what they did was they removed the old um, bones or skulls from the graves. They fixed them up, put the names and everything on it, and um, they put them in this church up there. Now this place is pretty much kind of like a tourist attraction now because of that. So they started doing that from the 1725, so it's a long time ago. Um, and I believe the last skull was put in at 1995. So I guess now they got enough space. Um, and this place is also famous for salt. They were harvesting salt from, I think, up seven, 7,000 years ago. So it's quite a long time ago. Look at the view. Um, and yeah, it's just basically quite amazing. So let's go and uh, check out the actual church itself and show you what it's like. Look at the view. This is like the most beautiful graveyard you've seen or what? Be up there. Oh, 
Oh. All right, well, it's not here either. What the hell is going on here? Okay, you know, adults. Okay. 50. Thank you. Did you uh, see the door? So it's like 150 to go in. Hello. Hello. Is it 150? language English please thank you Whoa. Oh. this is weird <laughs> but cool <laughs> what the holy shit. Oh my god. I like the yellow one. It's like all yellow. We should do this everywhere. <laughs> Turn all the graveyards into tourist attractions. Genius. <laughs> oh my god. It's pretty cool. That is so cool. There's so many. Wow, uh, like the names written on and everything. The year. There are over 1,200 skulls in here, and about 610 of them were painted with their family name and date of death. It's unbelievable, and it's basically like a sign of love. And um, they did do that from the 1720 till 1995. The last skull was put at 1995. I don't like a reminder of where you're gonna end up. <laughs> Better enjoy your life, otherwise, you know, life is short. That could be you anytime. It could be me. It's crazy. It's deep. <laughs> yeah. Imagine being high here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're gonna get out of here and uh, yeah, I'll talk some more. Well, that was intense. Um, on that lighter note, let's go and uh, yeah, see the a little bit more of this area, maybe on the other side. Imagine living here, wow, what a quiet life you would have. No, wait, no, 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 there's a lot of tourists. Okay, yes, maybe not too quiet, but still relatively quiet, maybe a little bit more that way. It's beautiful, though, like, breathtaking. <laughs> too much time here if you are on a tight schedule you can just uh, do a day trip from Salzburg and just the main street going that way hope you guys enjoyed the, all this drone footage and this video this place is magical it's very interesting um, I would probably recommend coming outside the summer months so this is you know spring still maybe a bit busy still um it's probably amazing in during christmas too so yeah a lot of options in terms of when you want to come check this place out i would definitely recommend it it's uh it's quite unique so i'm sure you will have a great time 
And yeah, anyway, enjoy, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video.